Please welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 21st to the 27th of February. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Aries, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Aries, for this coming week is the Magician. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands in reverse. Okay, so your challenge, Aries, has a lot to do with the Magician energy. I feel like for many of you, um, this has a lot to do with some sort of situation in your life where you feel like you maybe don't have the control that you want to have, okay? The magician is all about what we manifest, what we create. It's about the reality, the ability to create what we want in this reality. And you may find that that is something that you are um, having challenges with, okay? So we're going to clarify the magician and see what your important message is uh, in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. I do strongly feel here in the recent past areas, there may have been uh, an opportunity in love that came into your life. Now, this could have been an opportunity to have a new beginning in love with someone, or this could have had, um, this could have been an opportunity where somebody new came into your life and they were really interested in you. I feel like in the recent past, this new person or new beginning that was supposed to happen for you may have not happened. Someone here could have left or disconnected from this. And the reason why someone here may have disconnected in the past was because someone here was super closed off. Okay. Um, we're going to clarify and get more information on that in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Hermit, the Nine of Swords, and the Two of Cups. So it looks like in the present moment, you are reminiscing about some sort of relationship or connection. Now, you're either in a relationship or a connection commitment where there's a lot of stress, fear, and anxiety, and that has left you in your head, you know, overthinking this connection. Or it could be that you're worried about a connection coming into your life, or you're worried that you're never going to find love. This could be a number of things, okay? It looks like it has a lot to do with a relationship. We're going to clarify and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the Knight of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Swords. So it looks like in the near future, something here is finally going to come to an end. Um, it looks looks like it's something that's very much unexpected, but you kind of felt that it was going to come to an end here. I do see somebody here rushing in towards you. Okay. Um, could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We're going to clarify and get more information for you in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the three of wands, five of wands, six of cups, eight of cups, queen of cups, chariot in reverse. Okay. So what you don't see coming is the fact that for many of you, um, this has a lot to do with someone from your past, okay? I feel like this person from your past was someone that you were supposed to move forward with. The reason why you may have decided not to move forward with this person was because there was some sort of unresolved conflict that happened between you and them. I feel like things stopped working out. Could have been with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting Leo here, maybe a Virgo, Cancer here, okay, in the recent past. As a result of that, this person, um, this specific person either didn't want to move forward with you, okay? They didn't want to move forward with you because of some sort of conflict, okay? Could have also been the fact that there was a lack of action being taken on this person's end. Even though you may have wanted to move forward, this person may have not been ready to completely move forward with you, okay? So what you don't see coming is the fact that something here has to be released. Um, the reason why it needs to be released is because it hasn't really allowed you to move forward. There's been a lack of moving forward in general when it comes to a specific person um, that you love or you care about is what I'm seeing. Um, and this could be because of something that you find out. You may find out something, some sort of truth or some sort of lie that was hidden from you. And as a result of that, it makes it very clear in terms of why something here hasn't allowed you to completely move forward, okay? So something here is keeping you stagnant, um, Aries, because there's something from your past here that you haven't completely released that you still need to maybe release. Okay. So, um, let's get into your reading and, uh, let's see what's going on for you.
All right, let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so your challenge, which is the magician, is clarified by the justice, the knight of wands, and the uh, seven of pentacles. Yeah, okay. So your challenge has a lot to do with some sort of situation in your life that you feel isn't fair, okay? You want it to be fair. You want things to be brought back into balance in your life. I feel like your biggest challenge has a lot to do with the way in which you're approaching the situation, Aries, okay? And very important message for you. Hopefully you're listening, okay? So your challenge has a lot to do with the fact that you want something here set right. There's something here that you've invested into over a number of years. So, you know, um, for many of you, this situation hasn't been fair, okay? Justice is here, and you're running towards justice in your challenge position here. So for many of you, your biggest piece of information that you need to know moving forward is to really think long and hard about how you're going about receiving this justice. There's some justice in your life that you want, and you have to recognize that you are the magician. You're able to create what it is that you want. You're able to create your own reality. So running towards some sort of situation and expecting to get justice from the situation starts with you. There's something here about you going through this challenge because you have maybe forgotten the power that you have within yourself. You've forgotten that what who you are is you are the magician. You're able to create reality. So instead of running and expecting things to be set right or expecting things to go in your way, and sure they, they should because of course, you know, you're looking for justice, you, you believe in fairness, something here isn't quite fair. And in order for you to get back to this place of control, because the magician is about control, you need to tap into the magician within you, okay? And that's your biggest challenge because a lot of you are looking outside of yourself for something to be resolved when really the answer is, you resolving it within yourself and finding the power within you, okay? So this is your challenge. This is what I'm seeing. Now, let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the, uh, the Ace of Cups in the recent past. Ace of Cups is clarified by the Empress. You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So in the recent past, I'm really strongly getting that... Um, a lot of you had a very strong connection here with someone or someone was coming towards you wanting a very strong long-term connection with you, okay? You got to this point in the past areas where you didn't really need anybody. You didn't really need to be in a relationship with anyone. I see you doing very well on your own, but it looked like there was a very beautiful opportunity here in the recent past. Tell me more about the uh, Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Pentacles, you have the Moon, and the Ten of Cups. So in the recent past, you had a decision to make, okay, about someone who entered into your life. I'm really strongly feeling that a lot of you may have not um, told this person or this person may have not told you. I feel like this person hid something in the past from you, and as a result of that, you may have found something out here or there was a decision that needed to be made about whether or not you wanted to move forward with this person. I think intuitively you may have felt that this person was lying or they weren't being honest, and as a result of that, you may have closed off your energy from them, okay? Now, of course, the reading could be vice versa, but ultimately I'm seeing a new beginning that was supposed to happen that didn't really happen moving forward. Um, I'm also seeing somebody here ghosted, left, or completely disconnected in the past okay now in the present moment there's a lot of fear anxiety and stress regarding the relationship that you're in um, we're going to clarify and see what the important message is here for you but first I want to clarify the two of cups tell me more about this relationship or connection that's um, currently in Aries's life right now The Two of Cups is clarified by the King of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Wands. A lot of you are asking the um, this very important question in the present moment. The question that you're asking, especially when it comes to maybe an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, maybe a Virgo or another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. The question here is, are we going to move forward? Is there going to be a new beginning between um, you know, this person and I? Are we going to be able to set things right? And that's why your challenge here is a magician. Because even though you're asking this question in the present moment, you need to ask yourself if that's something that you want and if you do want it do you have the power within yourself to make it happen okay because a lot of you don't realize that you are magicians and that if you truly want to have a new beginning with this person being in fear and anxiety is not what is going to 
make it happen, okay? Um, so there's something, there's an important message about the fear and anxiety that you're experiencing in the present moment about love or about your relationship. It's really left you in your head. Um, and it's actually blocking you from manifesting what you want. It's, it's actually blocking you from manifesting the capability of attracting this type of connection, whether it's a new connection or it's a connection with someone that you already have that you want to move forward in a new direction with. Because I do feel very strongly, Aries, that you want to have a new beginning with someone. And even if it's not someone from your past, it could be you just wanting to have a new beginning in love in general. So what's the important message for Aries in the present moment? Okay, so the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so in the present moment, I feel like a lot of you are trying to get answers. You're trying to get answers and information about this person, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like for many of you, this person watches you. Okay, they watch you. Now, for some of you, this may not be you. Maybe you're not the one in fear and anxiety. It could be your person, okay? Somebody here may wanna work things out with you. They've been thinking about this. They've been in their head about this situation. So I'm definitely seeing in the present moment that somebody here wants to have a new beginning with you, um, but they may not know how to approach the situation. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing in the present moment. Now, in the near future, things get interesting because it looks like there is some sort of um, ending that happens here. And it's like you kind of knew this ending was going to happen. It was it may seem unexpected, but it's something that maybe needs to happen here. Um, this person doesn't like the fact that things are coming to an end. That's what I see here in the near future. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Why is it here? What's happening in the near future? So the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Tower, and the Nine of Wands. I do see some sort of ending happening here in the near future, okay? The reason why there's an ending or a Tower moment in the near future is because somebody here is tired of being um, left out. They're tired of being isolated. They're tired of waiting. They're tired of being in this place of not talking to you or not speaking to you. So there's some sort of assumption here. The assumption here is that things are over and it's done. And I see for many of you in the near future, you're closed off to this or you're, it's like, you don't want to completely give up on this Aries, but it, it, it's something here that just crumbles. Okay. It crumbles because of the lack of action being taken or a lack of communication. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups and the Strength. This person from the past, it looks like they are going to be coming back towards you. Okay, it could be a water sign, Cancer. I'm getting maybe a Leo here, um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. I feel like this person's coming back towards you, okay? Because they feel like there's an ending. They feel like something here is um, happening very unexpectedly. It's very unexpected. And I feel like the reason why it's happening is because there's a lack of action being taken. There's a lack of communication and there's a lack of like open energy and this is what's been happening for quite some time is what I'm seeing okay um so let's get some advice for you what is the advice The advice here is the page of cups. You have the four of wands and the um, four of swords. So I'm really strongly getting here in um, your biggest piece of advice moving forward is the fact that there is some sort of um, happiness that could be had here between you and this person. I do sense your biggest piece of advice here is to figure out what it's going to take for you and this person to heal some sort of trauma between you and them. Okay. Because there's something here about a cycle happening, like an ongoing cycle and something here keeps repeating over and over again in your life. And spirit's saying, if you don't want this situation, Aries to keep repeating over and over in your life, you have to be open to forgiveness and you have to be open to, um, maybe apologizing or accepting someone's apology here. That's the only way you're going to find stability in your life and be able to get to this place of healing. But if you keep allowing your life to kind of go into a direction of, you know, um, pain, trauma, fear, anxiety, and you start to consume that, that's when things start to become very confusing in your life. So to avoid that and to get back to this place of stability, which is the four of wands and the four of swords, um, which equals eight, which is, you know, spirit, infinity, um, there's a need to be open to forgiveness and be open to maybe an offer that is coming in. The more you're closed off to someone or the more you're closed off to um, healing and forgiving the situation, the less likely you're going to find the stability that you seek. Okay. So being open to forgiveness, 
forgiveness and an apology, um, or maybe even initiating and giving an apology will really get you back on to the right track of stability and most importantly, healing. Okay. So Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.